All right, guys, so um, I'm going to first show you how to uh, set up your image in Photoshop. So let's say you finished your painting and you took a picture of it um, and you uploaded it um, to your computer and then brought it into Photoshop. Now, this is not, this picture that I have here is not of a illustration, it's of a woodcut that I did. Um, but I'm just using it as my example for this uh, video. All right. First thing that I want you to notice, um, this picture here is actually a better picture to work from than this picture. Reason being is when I took this picture, I took it straight on. So you can see that the, the edge of the woodcut is uh, parallel to the edge of the viewfinder of my, um, or as close to uh, my camera, right? Where this would be at an angle as if um, I was taking it on an angle because you can see the edge of my, my picture, my woodcut is not parallel to the edge of, of the, um, the viewfinder or the picture. Um, but either way, if you brought it in this way or this way, I'm going to show you how you can easily crop it. So you can see I took a picture of this and um, I brought it in and um, I'm not giving you any specs about size requirements. So I'm just asking you to bring it into Photoshop and work off that image that you have. So you can see here my image is about 22 by 15 inches. If I go to image size, um, you can see my image size here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to work with this. Now, let's get back to this good one here. This would be a good example of how you should approach it. All right. So this is pretty easy way to crop this because each of my sides are kind of parallel to equal to the edge of the frame here. So what I can do is use my crop tool. Okay. Click on the crop tool. You'll see that points come up probably similar to how your crop tool is on your computer and you can crop your image, right? So you're basically cropping out, you may, you may crop out parts of your illustration. All right. And then once you have cropped the image, you hit enter and voila. Now I have um, my woodcut ready to color correct or photo edit. So if this were your illustration, uh, you can now go in and photo edit your illustration using your selection tools, your adjustment tools, your stamp tool, your burn, dodge, and sponge tool. You can also try going to layer styles, um, which is not open because I didn't select anything, and drop doing a drop shout, a pattern, a texture. You could try adding filters, all right? So there are many different things that you could do to your image, all right? Now let's look at the other ones. Let's say you bring it in this way. I would suggest, honestly, if you bring it in this way, it might just be easier to retake your picture, uh, taking into consideration um, the um, angle, all right? But if not, this is how I would approach it. I would um, control A, I'm sorry, yeah, control A, okay, which would um, select the entire image. So you can see there's a selection around my entire image. And I'm going to go to edit, <coughs> transform, and you can see that I have um, all of these transformation tools. So I'm going to go to distort, okay. So what distort will do is will allow me to pull from each of my points and distort the image. It won't lock it in place. So you can see that I'm now taking this and stretching it so that it's more parallel to the edge of the frame, okay? Um, but now it's distorting a little bit of the other side. So now I'm going to kind of pull this up, okay, and make sure that these lines are parallel, okay? Um, and then once I <clears throat> have that in position, I can hit enter, okay? Now I have it in place. Now I can also double check by using my rulers, I can pull guidelines down and say, okay, that is pretty straight. That's pretty straight. 
and then I can pull guidelines from the left. That's pretty straight. That's pretty straight. I might fix this side a little bit more. So I might keep my guideline here just to help me snap that into place. Okay. Now I might do control A again, edit, transform, and I might um, warp it. Okay, so warp will really move the entire picture, right? You don't want to warp it a lot, but you want to slightly warp it. So I might, it also has little anchor points on the side that I can push and pull in. So I might pull this up a little bit, pull this in a little bit. Okay, so that's a, just a little bit straighter. Okay, so now I'm going to say, okay, I like that. Now I have it whoops, in place. <clears throat> I'm going to use my crop tool. And again, go in and crop my image. So now I'm ready to color correct. All right. Um, so that's that. Stay tuned for more.